Hello everyone. In this session, we'll continue looking at the browser's application. In this session, we'll complete the master page. And the things that are left behind are we need to fix the search. We also need to do filtering and grouping. So in our application, we only have the sorting. So we want to add uh, filtering and grouping. We also want to have like a visual indicator for filtering and then the grouping function as well. Uh, so we need to do all these three, three, four items. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so I have the Visual Studio code and I have the live uh, reload uh, enabled as well. So as we make changes, it should get reflected. Uh, so I'm going to copy and paste a lot of code from the original application. Uh, so if you have questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll answer those uh, code snippets uh, because I want to complete the master page in this session. So right now what we have is if I search for the order 11077, and if I hit search, I get an error message. Uh, and the reason why we get this error message uh, is because we are filtering uh, using the word contains. And this contains works only if it is a string. Uh, and this order number is an integer. If you look at the metadata, uh, this is an integer. Uh, so I'm copying and pasting this code from the original application. So I'm commenting this line out and instead I'm going to do the equals the order ID and now uh, when I do the equals uh, this should work uh, so I should be able to search 11077 and this should work yes so this is working uh, now it is uh, kind of unrealistic for the user to type in 11077 uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this line out also um, and I'm going to copy and paste some code. Uh, so I'm going to give like a range, right, a between. Uh, so I'm going to give plus or minus five uh, that the user can have a range. Uh, so I'm getting this S query and this is what you type in. So I'm doing a minus five um, and putting that value in val one. I'm doing a val two, which is uh, plus five. Uh, and then I'm doing the same search and notice the syntax here for between. Uh, now this is a JavaScript object and I'm doing a path of order ID uh, between the operators between val1 and val2. Okay, so now when I pass in 11.0.7.0 and I do a search, I should get uh, from 11.0.7.5.7.4 all the way up to 6.5. Uh, so the search we have completed. Uh, now let's look at uh, the uh, sorting and the grouping. Uh, so for that, we go to the XML file. Uh, so I go into my XML file. And here uh, you can see that we have the filtering and grouping. Um, and right now we have the sort. So I'm going to comment this out. And so this button should disappear. Uh, so we have the sort button here and this should disappear once I comment this out. So let me comment this code out. And once it reloads, once the live uh, thing reloads, uh, the sorting should go away. And instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, grouping and the filtering. Uh, so these two buttons I'm going to add uh, in instead of the sorting. Now, uh, one other thing that I'm going to add is I'm also going to go ahead and add this uh, toolbar. Uh, and this is going to show the, if I'm filtered, this will give me some indication that it has been filtered. Um, so I've added these two things um, and let's see what happens. Uh, so when I press on this uh, filter button, the on open view settings, this method is called. And it's the same thing when I click on the group button as well. Uh, so we have the view settings dialog that gets opened up. Uh, so let's look at the master controller.js for that. Um, and I can search for on open view settings. Uh, now here we are getting the event and then we are doing which uh, button was clicked. Now there's an easier way of doing this. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, so what I can do here in my XML file is in my on open view settings, I can pass in a, 
value right here. I can pass in filter right here uh, because this is the filter button. And I can also pass in a group right here because that's what we are trying to see, which button got clicked. And you can pass these values right from the button here. Uh, so then I don't have to write all this code here to find out who clicked what. So I can kind of... Uh, um, Actually, I can even uh, uh, comment this entire code out. Um, and then I can just say S dialog tab. Now, S dialog tab will have the value of a filter or group based on what I clicked. Uh, now, one other thing I can also do is if I do want the uh, event tab, uh, so if I do want this, uh, right now I don't want it, but if I do want who, uh, the O event tab, uh, then what I can do is I can pass that in as well. I can do a dollar event, and this will pass in the event uh, value as well. Uh, so this way, uh, we don't have to do all that extra work. We get this value right off the bat. Uh, we're not using the O event tab, but if you uh, the parameter, but if you want, it's there. Um, and this is going to open the view settings dialog. Uh, so the view settings dialog, um, I am also going to copy and paste the code from the previous section. So uh, this is the code from the original application. So I'm going to comment this out. And I'm going to uncomment this uh, section. And this is going to open up the, uh, uh, the view settings dialog. Now, the view settings dialog itself uh, is uh, you have a couple of sections, right? So you see this filter items. Uh, this allows us to have the filtering option. Uh, you have the group items as well. Now, you can also have a section for sort as well. So you can have a section for sort. Uh, then this will give you all three uh, functionality. Uh, so right now, we are just doing uh, grouping and filtering. Now, with the filtering, you can see that it is uh, multi-select is false. Uh, but uh, So that means we can only select one, one property for filtering. Uh, now, if I go back to my mastercontroller.js file, and here, what I'm going to do is for the grouping functions, um, and I'm going to explain this a little bit because this requires a little bit of explanation. I'm going to comment this out. I'm also I also have the uh, I also have the modules uh, set up correctly, uh, and let me quickly check why this thing is not getting loaded. Um, me one second. Okay, something wrong with my XML file. Uh, so let me go check how my XML file is. So I have it commented. Okay, I didn't comment it out correctly. Um, so uh, this should uh, now show up okay here. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, so if I go into my mastercontroller.js, um, you can see that um, my, where's my uh, function? Okay, so here's the grouping function that I've just comment, uncommented out. Um, so for that, let me go to the uh, SAP UI5 demo kit. Now with the SAP UI5 demo kit, if you look at the sorter, the sorter takes three arguments, the S path, uh, whether it's uh, descending, whether it's true or false, and then V group, which is a function. Uh, so this is the function that we are going to pass into this sorter uh, method, the constructor of the sorter. Uh, and basically what it does is it gives you the key. Uh, so uh, if it is the order date, uh, we have something that returns the key and also the text. And if it's the ship date, we also pass something that is the key and the text. Uh, basically what you want it to show. And company name, again, we pass in the company name uh, as both the key and the text. Um, and if I go down a little bit further, uh, here uh, on my on confirm, so when the dialog box comes up and I click OK, uh, then this uh, function gets called. So I'm going to again copy and paste code from the original application. Oops. Let me comment this out. 
and I'm going to uncomment this and we'll put a breakpoint just to show how this thing is working and we also need this step 8 which is the uh, function to apply the grouper And I believe at this time we should be all set. Uh, but let me quickly check, make sure everything is working. So let me try to do a filter. And if I do a filter on orders, only shipped orders, and it is doing that and we have visual indication as well. So let's uh, quickly um, debug and see how everything is working. So I will hit F12. And for now, what I'll do is I'll remove the filter because we don't want the filter now. And let's start with the filter. So I will go to the mastercontroller.js and we know that the dialog box opens up and then the on confirm, uh, the dialog box is closed when we do the on confirm. So this is when where the dialog box uh, closes. Okay, so this should hit our breakpoint. So I'm going to go fill. Let's do grouping this time. Uh, so I'm going to group by customer and let's do it in ascending order. And I say okay. So our dialog our thing gets uh, called. Our confirm gets called. Um, and this is going to have come up as an array. Uh, so right now, if, um, um, let me put another breakpoint here, let it run. Um, and there is uh, eight filter items. There is uh, zero items in here. Now if I, and the reason is because we didn't do anything with uh, filtering. We only did uh, um, grouping. So right now there is uh, zero items. Now. Even if we did filtering, we'll only get one item because we had multi-select as false. Uh, so there will be just one item even if we went ahead and did filtering. Uh, but right now we didn't do any filtering, so there are zero items. Uh, so this thing gets completely skipped. Uh, but if we did have uh, filtering in there, uh, then one of the item would get uh, selected. It would be either shipped or not shipped and then we push that filter to this array. Um, and now let's look at how the grouping works. So at the end of this, so right now we're not doing any filtering, so all of this I guess we can pretty much skip. Um, and we're going to the grouper functionality. Uh, so here in this grouper, uh, like I said, the sorter thing, um, if I showed you this thing, it takes three arguments, the S path, whether it's descending or ascending, and then the V group, and that is a function. Uh, so let me let it run. It should hit this, and now we are calling the apply grouper, and then here we are adding everything to this sorter functionality. So I'm letting it run again, and if you look at this V group, it is a function, and let me check what V group is. And this is the function because we chose company name to be sorted. And this is the uh, function that gets called and returns a key with the company name and the S name as well. So I will quickly run through just one of it because it will go through all of the uh, entries. Uh, so let me run one quick thing. And it should say, did I put the proper, let me quickly put the proper, Okay, I think I let it run too fast. I didn't put the breakpoint in the right place. Uh, let me do descending here and let it run. And you will see that uh, we've already seen this. We've already seen this one as well. Uh, we've already seen this. And we've already seen this. Uh, this V group is a function. And the function itself will get executed now. If I hit the breakpoint, yes, I am hitting the breakpoint. And then you can see that the company name Wolski Zazad, uh, because we are uh, doing it in the descending order, that comes first. And I'm going to remove this breakpoint, remove this breakpoint, let it run. 
and you can see that it is grouped and we have everything uh, complete. Okay, that's it for this uh, session. If you have any questions, because I did copy and paste a lot of the code, I wanted it to finish it in this session. Uh, so please feel free to leave any comments. If you have questions, I'll answer them. Thank you.